everyone it's Kim here Sunshine Creations and Crafts and um, I've got a few moments here before I take off to run some errands to do a layout my son um, gosh last year uh, my youngest son got his driver's permit and I've got some pictures here that I've already cropped and then I have some fun things that I cut from the silhouette and the Cricut um, libraries and then I have a rub on and some photo matting. Now this is going to be time consuming. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera here and um, restart it and just speed through things very quickly. And I'll play some music for you. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so let's get started. First, I'm going to be um, matting these photos. And I just went through my scraps and found some colors that coordinated with that paper. That paper I actually had bought at Joann's. Now I pulled, I had a certain thing in mind and I couldn't find anything on the elegant edges or the um, edge to edge. So I pulled out a pair of really old scrapbooking scissors. Um, for those who've been scrapbooking for a long time, um, I'm sure you'll get a kick out of this. And I'm just reminding myself as I'm doing this, oh yeah, this is why I don't like it because it's time consuming. But it ended up looking really, really cute. And um, I'm glad these scissors were still sharp enough that I could do this. I just liked the the way the edges were. Um, I just don't have anything like that as far as the Cricut goes. And I wanted it to, um, I wanted to be able to cut it to the size that I wanted it so that everything would fit on that page. That's one of the challenges that I have sometimes if I have um, like this one, there's six photos and I wanted to put them all on one page. So I cropped them the best that I could and I wanted to mat them because I felt like the pictures themselves were kind of plain. Sometimes matting is not necessary. And um, I kind of interchanged. Some of them were green and some of them were blue. Just because I was trying to pull from those colors on that um, pattern paper there. Not cute paper. It's got stop signs and all kinds of stuff. I didn't want to cover up too much of the paper, but um, you'll see here when I'm all done that I kind of did. Uh, you can kind of see a little bit of it, but it's just such cute paper. I wish I would have thought of a different plan so that I won't have to cover so much of that up. And I only have, um, I think, uh, three more photos to do, so hang in there. And I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put those. Um, the first photo is of the... Um, I took a picture of the handbook that he studied from. I know that's weird, but it, I just, this is such good memories, what we're going through right now. Um, I just kind of take pictures of everything. <laughs> Bump the camera, of course. Can't do a video without bumping the camera. I have a desk camera. Um, if I think about it, I will do a video um, and show you the setup. Um, it's kind of cool actually. My husband got it for me. And I haven't been able to find any of them here. He actually got it um, on one of his adventures to China. Isn't that cute? He's out there traveling the world and he saw this and thought of me and brought it home. This one edge is just a little bit crooked but using those scissors didn't cause a problem at all had lots of little pieces here and there that I had to get cleaned off my desk. Um, if anybody's wondering, that's Tom Tombow Mono Adhesive Glue. Um, you can find it at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's. Um, we have a Beverly's um, in, here in town. I don't know if anybody has Beverly's where you're at, but you can get the glue at Beverly's as well. I actually put that picture down upside down first, so I thought that was pretty funny. Okay, this is a 12 by 3 quarter inch white piece of scrap paper that I'm going to lay down in the middle of all those pictures. And then these are little 1 inch pieces of um, puzzle pieces. They look like a road, but they're little puzzle pieces, and I got that from my community, Cricut Cartridge. And I wanted to move the paper over a little bit. I wasn't sure if anybody could see it. I wouldn't know if I was in the frame of the camera or I get in the scrapbooking zone and then I realize after it's too late that I'm doing everything off the camera frame. 
this is a really fun layout. I want to be able to, you know, look back even five, ten years from now and go, oh, I remember Jordan got his permit. Now, I thought I had um, cut out enough of these, and you'll see here in a minute, I realize I'm a little bit short. I have um, just a tiny eighth of an inch of space left on that, but that's okay. And I don't know if you notice every once in a while I ended up putting it on upside down, or, you know, uh, not vertically. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my photos down, and um, I don't know why I do this. I've mentioned this in my videos before. I just randomly grab the tape versus the glue. <laughs> it's whatever's there, I guess. Um, I put this one actually too close. You'll see in a minute I'm going to pull it up. Um, and then down at the bottom, you'll see a better way of doing that, where you want to put your photos on the outside and then put the middle photos on the inside. And I had to make enough room for my um, title, so I had to move those pictures down a little bit. See how I put one picture on the left, one picture on the right, and then the one in the middle. This is from the Silhouette Cameos Library, and it's image number 43188. And it just cut out the Away We Go, and I backed it up with some white and fussy cutted it. Fussy cut it. Cut it? Hmm. Uh, this is also an image from the um, silhouette, and it is image number 18861. And this was hilarious that I could not get this thing on here. Finally. And I got glue all over my fingers and it was sticking to my fingers. And, and it says memories ahead. Such a cute little thing. And there I go. I grabbed my ATG. Oh, and then I realized, oh my gosh, I have to put the um, title up there. Okay, these are from the silhouette as well. It's, you get six of them, and I tried to go back and find the image number, and I couldn't, I didn't know what it was under, if it was a tag or um, what it was. So this is a rub-on, and it's from um, a company. I had bought these so long ago. I totally forgot I had these. Karen Foster Design. And I'm not too keen on rub-ons, but uh, this one actually turned out really well. It's not the rub-ons fault, by the way. It's me, because I just have a difficult time with it. And I put that against a piece of white paper, and then I'm just going to leave a little bit of border on it, and fuzzy cut that as well. Okay, I'm going to recommend if you're um, needing the urge to go buy scrapbook supplies, clean your craft room. Because <laughs> uh, that's when I found that little rub on thing. I went through my stuff. Okay, this is from the um, Close to My Heart um, Artiste Cricut cartridge. And I did all of them on capital shift from on my expressions at one inch. And then I took a white gel pen and I made little road signs. I mean, little road, um, what do they call those? Lines. I'll just say lines. Yeah. And um, as I was laying this out, I had this thought process like, oh my gosh, I wonder if this is all going to fit. So I'm just going to squish them all up and I'm going to put the permission word down first. And then I'm going to put the drive word down, starting with the E and backing up. And then I'll put the uh, word two in between those as wherever you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, the two fits. Now I have a confession. Um, I was not, I guess I was paying attention, but not really. The word drive ended up, uh, like half an inch higher than permission. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, I guess, not sure, but you'll see here in a second, I'm literally going to take my spatula and pull that off. And by the way, that actually works. If you're using the Tombow glue, even though it's been sitting there for a while, if you take your Cricut spatula and you just go underneath the uh, photo or the words or whatever, and you just slowly like scrape it up, um, it actually comes up. There it 
this. Now this is when I look at it and go, oh wow, that's way off. So I'm also going to add some journaling um, tags to that. Okay, so at first I'm, I mean, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to pull this up with my tweezers. I don't think so. So you'll see here in a minute, it does come up. And it still was tacky. So I didn't have to um, put any glue on the D. I think there's a couple of letters that I did put some more glue. And it'll stay. The I had a little bit of problems with. Um, this particular type of spatula isn't the one that I usually use. I usually use the one that came with the crickets a long, long time ago, but I could find that on my desk. And this one gave me a little bit of a hard time too, but I figured it out. And that one just didn't feel very tacky anymore, so I went ahead and put some more glue on it. And done. had a little piece of paper there that didn't come off on the mat. So, well, that's it, everybody. <laughs>